Hey guys, it's Wade Master here. This water monster is a pain. But anyways, welcome back to part six of my Amnesia the Dark Descent Let's Play. Oh, this water monster is so mean. I mean, you just won't let me get past him. Ah, uh, is that. Okay, I swear I thought that was. But yeah, let's. Let's get right back into it, try it again. Maybe he won't be so mean. <gasps> Maybe I should all put this over here and then like spam food on him. Cause I mean like, I don't know if he hates people or something or he has no family cause he just wants to eat anyone who walks on land. Okay, let's get that over there and see like, she's not so bad. What? He kicked! I thought it was gonna go for the food, the food, the food, the food, the food! Yes, the food, bro! There! Don't you dare come after me again. I swear. Okay, have this have this on standby. Have this on standby because he's dead. Oh no, what? I should have just like started. Did you even hear that? He's already eating it. Yeah. 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 Ye
Like, and then I'll probably go upstairs, and then that storage area. But dang, please don't kill me. Uh, it's so peaceful. Don't do it. You have an ascending room. Would it take us to the inner sanctum? It will definitely take care of the vertical part of our journey. So, you have ridden an elevator before? Oh, it's an elevator. Yes, cool. the Colosseum of Regent's Park has one. It takes you to the gallery where you can view the panorama. Good. This ride might be a little longer. And in the other direction. Right. A little longer in the other direction. So is it not going to take me to the inner sanctum? Oh, and there's a machine room. Oh, yes. But the elevator doesn't work yet, maybe? Or is it going to work? Oh, should I? I don't know. Should I just go for it? Oh, it's not even working. Might need to go to the machine room. Find a way to start the engine that powers the elevator. Okay. Let's probably go to the machine room first. Oh, okay. Now I guess I have to go to the storage. Maybe. Unless there's something upstairs. Find the key that unlocks the door leading to the machine room. Alright. Let's first go upstairs see what's up there. Like, this is a pretty nice castle, but still, it's evil. Very bad. Very bad. The study and the guest room. The guest room seems quite like, empty. Happy? You returned the teacup to the saucer and picked up the orb as one would an apple. And pondered. Ugh. To see where the new instrument is. My journal is gone. What would they want with my journal? What would they want with your journal? Looks like they just trashed your place, bro. Huh. Okay. Seems like. Nothing's in here but oil, which is I, I like. I like that there's like oil. Nothing bad. I'm happy. Yeah, I'm fine now. Yeah, that water monster wasn't scary. He just wanted someone to play with. Let's see, the door is stuck due to the broken lock. Okay. This lock is broken. Find another way to open the closet door in the guest room. All right. So maybe. Something in here. Okay, okay, I thought that was blood, but I guess it's just wine. Mm, ooh, a crowbar. Something. Oh, I have 18 bucks. Anything in these? Nope. Alright. A letter, though. 2nd of July, 1839. I received a letter today from the Algerian governor's office disclosing the fate of Herbert's expedition. About a week after my departure, Abdullah. One of the men traveling with us returned from the desert. He was badly injured, as if maimed by a lion. The man rambled deliriously about the expedition being attacked by something horrible. Probably the French monster. quickly dispatched a search party to look for the expedition. After searching for days, they found the camp abandoned without any trace of Herbert or his men. Tomorrow, I'll retrieve the things they recovered from Herbert's tent at the customs house. I don't know what to make of it, but I'm worried for him. Alright, let's keep going. Apparently they all just like die from like some like monster or something. Uh like that doesn't sound good at all. Anything Nope, nothing in that one. Um Ooh, can I like this? Cool, but I don't wanna like that one. Save I might Ooh, this is like fix that. Ooh, fix that too, because like this place is just fix oh tinderbox. Hey. Good thing to see you there. Oh nope, nothing. Wind. Alright, let's see, move this and that. Alright, let's see. What's in here? Nothing. Ooh. And that's it. Nothing here. Okay. Get out of here. 
And now it's red of July, 1839. Today I picked up Herbert's things at the customs house. I dug through the trove of documents he had carried and found a log detailing the expedition. The nature of this text ranged from quick notes to colorful accounts of transpired events. I skimmed the pages trying to figure out what might have happened. May 17th, the day I was trapped inside the orb chamber, Herbert dryly states, we covered Daniel after one hour of entrapment. This confused me greatly. I was suffocating within minutes. How could I have lasted an hour? I continued reading the peculiar text. Herbert states his facts without judgment or passion, but suddenly I could read frustration into his text. He pushed his men to investigate the underground tomb, an effort which seems to have strained the minds of his men. Madness spread through the ranks, and Herbert had to take some extreme measures to continue. He finally visits the chamber himself, where he retrieves the orb to the surface. His account confuses me greatly. If he has the orb, what are those pieces in my drawing room? So I guess he had the real orb, but like Daniel didn't. Okay, that kind of makes sense ish. But this is still locked or like broken. So maybe if I smash something with it? No, that probably won't work. It's a chair. Bam. Alright, that should. Okay. Uh. This is to find. Like, what was it? To. The lock is broken. Find another way to open the closet door in the guest room. Okay. So there might be like a key or something in here that I'm trying to find, but I can't find. I should find it. That'd be great if I could find it. Or I should just go to the other room to study. Maybe. Anything under these little. Broken box giblets or whatever you want to call them. Pieces. Pieces. Bottles. More bottles. Oops, my bad. Any on the bed, side of the bed, nope, nope, on the bed, jump on the bed. Nope, can't even jump on the bed. Okay. Can I touch the bed? Yes, I can touch the bed. Oh that actually does. Daniel. What? Still having nightmares, I see. Ooh. Yes. I can't shake them. They come every night. We'll put a stop to them. You'll see. Maybe Alexander was trying to also work on Daniel, trying to do an experiment with him. So that's why he was saying, ooh, we'll stop them. Probably he's gonna make him like worse, turn into like one of those monster things. That wouldn't be good. Alright, you know, I can't really find anything here, so... If anything, I'll come back in here and try to look around a little more and see if I can find it. But until then, I'll just go ahead and go to the study room. Professor Taylor was the second death caused by his damn curiosity. So I guess if you get too curious in this, like, castle around Alexander, I guess it'll kill you. Why? Well, Sir William Smith has been marked. There was no way for him to know that the young man from the other day cast such a terrible shot. So I guess there was a young man that was like evil and killed him or marked him. Okay, this doesn't look too nice. It's more dark. Oh, hey. Bam. That's cool. Ooh, I could pick this up. Oh, okay. I thought it was something actually needed. I don't know. Like, hey, progress. So let's see. There's teacup and the cross. Maybe this will help. Me. Whoa! Did it just get darker? Weird. All right, that doesn't break it. Let's see what's in this chest. All right. Ooh, I guess this is... I've heard that this guy is Stefano. But anyways, I'm going to have to stop it here. Like and favorite if you've enjoyed. Subscribe. 
and I'll see you guys in the next part. Bye.